Okay, now here we are in Moto, and we're ready to get started modeling. Uh, before I do, I want to make a couple of notes. I have went onto Google Image Search, found a few reference images for this vehicle from very varying angles, and uh, bookmarked these. So anytime I work on this, um, I can kind of have these reference images. Um, and another thing is. Um, this workflow that I'm going to be showing you here is kind of something I came up with, and I don't know if I invented it or not. I mean, it's kind of a combination of various workflows that I've seen other people do, but I really couldn't just get down to the point where I felt like my models were coming out the way I wanted. Um, so I, I kind of tried various things and then came up with this workflow I'm about to show you, which seems to work pretty good for me. It may or may not work for you, but it will be another set of tools to put into your 3D modeling uh, repertoire. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to get started now. The, the basic premise here behind this workflow is I start out um, and try to get the first bit of my geometry along a single plane. And what I mean by that is if we go into uh, my top view, for example, uh, you'll see that this um, car uh, between this kind of front fender and this back fender are pretty much along one plane and um, I see, you see that it does curve up a little bit going towards the top but I'm not too concerned about that what I want to do is um, start my geometry off on this plane here so that I can build off of that um, because sometimes Sometimes in 3D modeling, especially if you're doing something like box modeling or something, it's hard to tell um, where your vertices are in 3D space, even when you have all four uh, or all three views up at once. Um, so it, it, that was one of the problems that I had with modeling, and um, so I came up with this workflow, and it seemed to um, just be very easy for me to be able to uh, get a car started and start modeling. So. I'm going to show you what I mean instead of it, it trying to explain it any further um, because it's just too complicated. Uh, so I'll go ahead and go into my basic tab and I'll grab my pen tool. And you want to make sure here that uh, make quads is not selected. And basically, uh, I don't know if you're no, new to Moto or not, but when you click on make quads, um, every time you put lay down three points uh, and then continue on it, it makes quads, but we don't want to do that. We want to leave that off for right now. So I'm going to deselect that and then I'm just going to get started. So I'm going to kind of start on this plane again that I showed you here. Zoom in a little bit because this part is very, very small. I'm going to go right about from the middle of this wheel and I'm just going to start clicking and making points um, pretty much evenly spaced along here. And I also want to make points at intersecting lines so that later on when I go to carve in this geometry it's a little bit easier um, so I'm just going to continue along here and actually even zoom out and go to that point and then I can just cut all the way across to this point that intersecting line about halfway through that intersecting line um, right there there and I'm going to go continue on almost all the way back to this light the very tip of where this light is and then continue on I want to click here where the door intersects and the back and the front and also this um, area right here and then that's pretty much it for the beginning of the model so I'm going to hit space bar to end the tool now, I, I don't know if you have any experience in modeling or not uh, in 3D programs, but um, you might be able to tell right off the bat that this isn't going to work. Uh, I need to make some cuts in this. Uh, number one, if we go back into the, the left-hand view, or excuse me, into the top view, um, again, this kind of curves here, so we need to make some cuts in the middle of this geometry so we can curve the top over and to meet this, the top of the car here. So let's go back into the left-hand view, and um, of course we're going to use these guidelines here because that's where the car uh, kind of starts to bend in right along that line right there up towards the top. So we need to make a cut, and the way we do that is 
we can go into our mesh edit tab and we can uh, click on slice or we can use shift C uh, I'm just gonna hit shift C and I'm just gonna drag a line right along that actually I need it back up because 45 degree snap is selected so let me just do that again okay and then again down here at this line I'm holding down shift by the way to do this I want to go all the way across the geometry and there's gonna be a cut here uh, if it needs to go all the way across and a cut down about down this line okay and I'm trying to meet up with the vertices that are already in place and I'm gonna be creating some new ones and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do after that but um, let's say for example I want to cut down that line right there and I'm gonna be needing to make some cuts right here because you don't want to leave vertices um, sticking out here like this this makes an end gone which is basically a polygon with more than four sides and this one has one two three four five six seven eight, about eight sides so that's not gonna work so we actually want to slice wherever we have those vertices and um, we can also make it so that they intersect with other geometry so later it's easier to pull that out All right. now that one already has that line going across this these ones kinda need something here so I'll just pull one across there and pull one across there and I think that do it for the back I'm going to do this also in the front so I'm just going to make some lines coming down right around where those vertices are and that should probably oh I missed a couple let me hit shift C got these ones right here come down and right here come down now the vertices are not connected so we're going to get some kind of weird results when we go into sub D mode which you do by hitting the tab key so what we need to do is join these verts and the way we do that is uh, over here in the vertex tab um, I'm gonna just grab for example these now if you grab these um, you can tell down here in this area where it says two vertices um, and you can tell whether there's one or two or even if there's ten it'll tell you so I'm just going to click on join average there because they're close enough together that it really won't move them too much and I want to go ahead and do that to all the areas that have two verts those intersecting lines shouldn't have them uh, these ones down here won't because those are the end of my cuts so here there will be one and some of these areas here will have two Again, just I'm right clicking and dragging my marquee okay um, by the way you may have this lasso tool by default here which is fine I mean you can use that one if you want um, I, I tend to think that one is a little bit more difficult to use at least for me than the rectangular one especially when you're trying to grab a hole line it just makes it easier for me to do the rectangle so I just right click in the viewport lasso style and you can choose from the various styles okay let's go ahead and make sure that I have all these joined oh actually hit join that's okay let's do that there's a couple there there a couple there and I think I actually have you can see right here there's a couple that um, actually should have made a cut there I missed it but for now I'm just gonna just join those that's okay it's not too far apart it's like there's two right there should be it now if, if I go into vertices here 